Okay. Would you just briefly explain what happened here today, the nature of the plea today? Sure. Uh, Mr. and I had filed a writ of habeas corpus based in part on new evidence that a person of interest in the initial case was down in Mexico had uh, claimed that he committed this murder. When the courts ordered the people to show cause as to why the writ should not be granted. During the discussions that we had about this case, uh, we came to an agreement. It was the Innocence Project's position that their client was innocent. Uh, that was not our position. He did not receive an exoneration. But after reviewing all the evidence in this case, uh, reviewing the investigations by both the Innocence Project and our office, and discussing it with the original trial attorney, among other people, was the universal view that this resolution was correct for justice. Paige, if you kind of uh, briefly explain what happened here. Um, so basically, this is a pretty complicated case with a long history, but the district attorney, John Main, and I agreed that there is enough doubt about um, about guilt. There's enough evidence of Domingo's innocence that he should go home. Um, what is his mindset right now? He's really happy. He can't wait to see his family. He hasn't seen his mother in 22 years. She was turned away from the prison both times she tried to visit. His grandmother is 96. She visited him all the time in prison, and so he's going to go live with her and take care of her. Uh, so he's just really happy about that. Um, does he feel like he admitted to something today that he didn't do? I mean, what's, what's going on? It was really important to him that he be able to maintain his innocence while taking this deal. Um, that was really his only concern when we told him he had this option to go home was as long as he could maintain his innocence, and the DA's office agreed he could do that. So, so I don't think he feels like he admitted to something he didn't do. Um, it maybe isn't perfect justice, um, but he is more familiar than most of us with the fact that life is not perfect. Describe me how hard, was it hard to find these, these gentlemen uh, 21 years later? No, it was not because we got contacted by somebody down there that knew the Rosales family. Uh, we had already always known Rosales' name, but uh, we got contacted by somebody uh, from the family who said he was willing to be interviewed. And so that's when I went down there um, and we met in uh, See what the name, and we met in a hotel room, and he ambled up, and I interviewed him on videotape. Um, I don't know if you've seen the video. No. Uh, the, the guy was very credible, and he's admitting uh, he's admitting to having killed the victim in this case.